these are the gonna cuts. This is tonight's goal. When I started mapping out this boat project, I knew I had an issue. The deck, the top of the boat, comes all the way down to the floor, all the way across, like you can see here. And that was going to make it really difficult to cut the floor out and really get the floor all the way out and be able to like, get underneath it for the flotation foam. So I needed to figure out a way to either take the whole deck off of the boat and do this thing in four days, which thank God I didn't go that route, or I needed to make these cuts or these openings in the side that would allow me to have access to where the floor meets the siding of the boat and get the cuts in from there. Now, by needing these holes, I decided to utilize the space and make storage. On the driver's side, I want to make water ski storage for my slalom ski. It's always really annoying when you have to step over the slalom ski on that side. And I really don't want to be running my good slalom ski up into the nose every time. So on uh, that side of the boat, I'm going to be cutting a water ski storage area. And then I'll put in little brackets to hold the ski up later and it's going to be great. On the passenger side, I want to cut out the side as well, but over there I'm going to do a net storage, basically copying the Malibu net storage. Everything I want in this boat is the Malibu, like the 2000, 2016 version. That was my favorite. There I popped out the first side. That's where I'm going to store the water ski on that side. And so now you can actually get a good view of me cutting the holes for the angles. That's a uh, three and five eighths hole bit. I got that size because that'll match the larger cup holders that I'm installing later. That was super important. And then I use my oscillating bit um, to round out these rounded um, edges, which I actually traced out with a five gallon bucket. And now I'm going to switch to the grinder with a diamond blade on it. Well, it looks like I already did the grinder with the diamond blade. I cut the top there. So now you can see that's where my net storage is going to be. All right, here I am sizing up my ski, super psyched. Here comes the slow-mos. Slalom ski storage. You see the tail of the ski is actually going to tuck under the gunnel there. And here's the net storage on the other side. What have I done? Day 14 has had the most anxiety and pressure and the build up to it. Uh, admittedly, I skipped some steps here. Right now what I'm doing is I'm getting the battery box out. It's a little panel that goes up under the passenger side seat. The uh, steering cable is still running through it. I am not totally sure how to get a steering cable off. I kind of took a look at my steering bracket where it comes in the steering wheel and I don't feel comfortable trying to take that off yet. And I probably should have taken that off right there, but I didn't. So I just kind of buckled that battery box up and kind of bent it out of the way so I could cut this floor out. There I am with a Sawzall cutting into the floor. I went up under the gunnel cut right there. I went through there with the Sawzall and just did a deep cut. Eight inch blade, wood blade. It just ripped right through. It was soft as butter, really. Um, and then I used the little Dremel oscillating tool to cut the corner out of the back there. And then I take the grinder with the diamond bit on it and cut on the, along the sides of the floor there. I decided to go on that side of it so there'd be a little lip coming off of the floor that'll then press down onto something when I put it all back together. So there the floor came off. My God, was I terrified at this point. I actually had a severe nightmare this night. It was not a good night of sleep and it was really scary. Someday I'll tell you about it. I got right to pulling up the foam, digging into it. It was just as wet as expected. Um, but as I was doing this, I couldn't help but just keep staring at that panel that I'd ripped off there and I just stepped on it. You see how soft it is. And I got movement now from the engine brackets. Now, Ron Tannis had told me to leave this whole middle floor section in the boat for those engine brackets, but I thought that it'd be so much easier to just cut the whole thing out and put it back together and engineer it. But right now, I'm just wishing I'd listen to him. I keep working, but I really can't get my mind off of what's going on and how hard it's going to be to now put this back together and keep the engine solid and that door goes down and that darkness right there is what I felt inside and that's about how I felt. That's about two healthy adults worth of weight out of the boat.
So after taking a day off and getting my head wrapped around this project, I made a couple of decisions. The first was that I needed to secure the engine mount in place, and so I'm using those two 2x4s that you can see with some clamps to just hold it in place. Um, the next decision was that the foam just has to come out regardless, so I'm getting right after, ripping that out. All this foam is proving to be very wet. After I got it all out and got all the trash bags kind of lined up together, I'm lifting them up. And we estimate that yeah, it's about two adults worth of weight that got ripped out of this boat. In some places, like up under the driver's seat, which I'm working on right here, the foam was actually still fairly dry. However, the bottom layer of the foam where it was sitting on the hull was wet as well, so I had to get that out. Uh, here I just take some towels, throw some towels in, try and get it to dry a little bit quicker. At this point, I've got most of the foam ripped out of the exposed section. So now I'm trying to get a look up into the nose of the boat to see what's going on under there. Uh, it appears that there's a big blob of flotation foam up in there with the bottom four inches looking black, which means wet. Uh, so I'm going to have to address that later. Uh, but first, I'm really going to tackle this steering cable, which I should have gotten to a long time ago. I've decided to take it out from the rear, which I just did successfully there. I got it out through the battery box. And now I'm trying to get everything tied up underneath and organized. I did try and get the steering cable out from the uh, steering wheel portion there. That did not go well. I'm going to have to deal with that later. My neighbor Luke came over to check out the boat project. I'm really glad he made it over this night because I needed some reassurance and what my plan was to get this thing back together. I've decided that I'm going to use a little bit of marine board. I'm going to cut a fairly large section that's going to go along next to the motor mounts and I'm going to be able to put that up underneath the piece of flooring that still exists and then screw down into that and join it together. I'm going to use some trivia tape, I believe that's how it's pronounced, from uh, Ski Boat Parts Online. And other than that, I really don't know what it's totally going to look like. I just need to get this cleaned up even more and then start putting the pieces together and figure it out as I go. Side note, I can't find the flashlight anymore and I think Luke just put it in his pocket.